So I haven't washed my hair in a week. So it looks like this. Yeah. back to my channel so i feel like doing more of a chill video today i don't know i kind of just miss sort of sitting down and doing like sort of old style videos which is why today i'm bringing to you plus a lot of you guys do request this when i ask for ideas on instagram so i thought it was only fair i did it to be quite honest the video that was meant to go up yesterday didn't work so i'm last minute filming this <laughs> my phone is really not interesting there is no like secrets hidden inside it it's dry it's boring and it's dead yeah, I don't really know any better way to describe it. I'm trying to make this sound interesting, but it's really just not working. So, before we start, this is my phone case. It is just from Skinny Dip. It's part of the Disney Skinny Dip collection, and it's just got Sebastian on it from Little Mermaid, and I think it's really cute. So for my lock screen, it is just this really hot picture of Jack, which he absolutely hates, but I absolutely love. And he refused to upload it onto Instagram, but I liked it that much. I made it my lock screen. We love a supportive girlfriend. Anyways, yeah. So when you unlock my phone, the first thing you see is this picture of me and Jack in Paris. We took this very last minute just near the tower on the bridge before we went for a walk as the sun was setting. Not that you can see because the exposure was way too high so it literally just looks like a photoshopped picture of the tower in a picture of us in the white background. But I promise you, <laughs> it actually was when we went to Paris. That's just my home screen. And then at the bottom, I've just got the phone, Safari, messages and emails i actually check my emails on a daily which is why there's no number next to that so and then when you swipe you see this page which has less apps on than what it's meant to do because i just don't like having apps on my phone which i don't use so i only keep the relevant ones on here which i use from time to time so the first app i have in the top corner is facetime but it's just there in case i need it because jack doesn't like facetiming me he absolutely hates it and i absolutely hate that he hates it but you know and then I have calendar, which to be honest, don't really use, but it just kind of looks nice there. I then have photos, which is very boring. It's basically just pictures of me, which I take for Instagram. Nothing great on there. As you can see, interesting photo. <laughs> Yeah. Then I have camera, which to be honest, this is actually what I used to take my Instagram pictures. I used to use Snapchat camera a lot, but I just use this now and I go to Square. Where are you? And I just take all my Instagram pictures like that, like the on camera. Then I have a maps, which I only use when I'm in the car with Jack and we don't know where we're going. Clock, which is just for alarms and stuff like that. Weather, which I only really check when it's either expected to be sunny or snow. Wallet, which I use Apple Pay on because my card doesn't like to work. I can only use Apple Pay at the minute, which is <laughs> great. Then I have Apple Music, which don't use so don't know why I've got that. I've got reminders, I have news and then the app store which clearly I have a lot of apps that need updating but I have no storage so that can wait. Then I have health, it doesn't let you delete that which is why that's there. Settings and then notes which I actually use notes a lot. I'm not going to click into notes because I have a list in there of things I'm thinking of getting Jack for his birthday and if he sees this video he's going to see that and that's just not going to be good so yeah. Calculator because I can't do maths and then I have my extras folder which just has all the basic standard things in which I don't need to go through. Puffing, which is basically like when you go on YouTube on your laptop, it's set out the exact same format but on a phone instead of like the YouTube app version. That makes no sense but if you have the app you'll understand. Then I have Bitmoji which I use all the time to change my Bitmoji because I'm constantly changing its outfits. And then I have Casa which is basically an app for my light bulb which I will show you if you're interested. So basically I have this light bulb from Amazon which I'll link down below but it's basically like a colour changing light bulb and you just turn on your Bluetooth and it connects it to your light bulb like so and then you just go through all these steps and it's not going to work right now, I don't think you're going to be able to see because my ring light's on but okay maybe you can, the light is kind of changed blue now, I've turned it to blue and you can change it all different colours like red which you can't really see, pink you can't really see the blue one's probably the strongest one which to be honest it kind of makes the light look really nice in this video I might actually use that more often in my videos but that is that app anyway, I'm just going to turn that off and then the next page, this is the rest of what's on my phone like I keep everything on one page I don't like thousands and thousands and thousands of pages to swipe across like I just like everything in one place the first app I have is countdown and this is basically what I use for any upcoming events so as you can see on here I have Jack's birthday and I have my holiday to Turkey yeah I don't really have many fun things coming up I've literally got two as you can see right here so yeah I really need to make some fun plans for this year then I have shop tagger which is an app I use all the time mostly to check whether I items are back in stock or not because there are these grey joggers I really want from Misguided but they're never ever in stock in my size 
So I put it onto my shop tagger so that when they do come back in stock, I'll get a notification and then I can go on the website and buy it. But yeah, I've done videos with shop tagger before in the past. So if you want to find out more about that, I'll link them videos down below. But it is a really cool app to have. Then I have Uber, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows what Uber is. I don't really use it as often now that Jack drives. I mainly used it before Jack drove to get to and from his house and things like that. We want to see each other, but I still have that just in case I need it. Again, the same sort of thing with first bus um, tickets. I do still sometimes use this when I want to pop to Primark in town and I just want to get the bus because Jack hates coming to Primark with me, so I go by myself. But yeah, that's just there. Anyways, then I have headphones, which this app sounds very weird just being called headphones. But it's basically the app which works with my headphones. But I'll link them down below if you're interested. But basically this app just tells you the battery level, um, you can change like the bass, the tempo, all that fun stuff on your headphones, basically get the best sound quality possible and you know when they're about to die so that is very helpful. Then I have Facebook and Facebook Messenger which are private even though I don't use them anyways like I rarely ever go on those apps. Then I have Uni Days which is an absolute life saver when you're trying to save. I'm constantly trying to save because I'm always poor. <laughs> but yeah Uni Days basically is an app where you sign up with your school email and you get discounts off many brands, as you can see right there. Then I have Twitter, which if you're not following my Twitter, you are making a big mistake, honey. Jokes, I literally just use Twitter to run 24 seven, but if you wanna go follow me, then, you know, plug. That cover photo is something. Twitter is the place I am most active other than Instagram. Also have Instagram, which I am honestly loving uploading on Instagram at the minute. It's like my favorite thing to do. I love taking pictures, I love editing pictures, and I just love reading comments and replying to comments on my photos and stuff like that. So if you don't really follow my Instagram, it is this. My photos have improved somewhat in the past few months. Like I used to upload such weird photos and now I feel like I'm, I'm steady going with like a good feed. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. I post on my Instagram story daily. So if you want to see the sort of things I'm doing, then it is a good place to be. Then I have Snapchat, which you guys can actually add me on. I don't add people back, but you can view my story. Purely because I really rarely use Snapchat, I only use it to speak to Jack. I never post anything on my Snapchat story, so if you have me on there, I'm sorry, it's pretty pointless. So to be honest, there's not really a point in you adding me, but if you want to, then this is my Snap code. And then YouTube, which you all already know what this is. Thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers. Again, I'm never going to stop thanking you because it's genuinely the biggest dream come true in the world. This is my channel. YouTube. Anyways, then I have 21 buttons which I have worked with a few times over on my Instagram but genuinely it's just like a really good app. This is what you use to just upload your photos and you tag where things are from so obviously this was a paid ad with skinny dip and 21 buttons but you basically just upload pictures of yourself, tag where the items are from like that so people can go onto this and they can be like oh my god that's such a cute bell and then visit the website and then purchase the bell and then whenever somebody buys something through your button you earn a little commission from it so that is great everybody can make money from this it's not just like influencers and stuff like that there's not a lot in mind at the moment as you can see you can make money from it when people buy items that you have tagged so if you want to go follow my 21 buttons it is just in my comments it's like my instagram we have 81 1k followers which is mental. Then I have Fonto which is what I use to edit my thumbnails. I have Clue which is my period app which we love. It's just great for tracking it overall. Then I have Netflix which I don't really use Netflix on my phone that much. I only really use it if I'm going on like long car journeys or I'm like on the aeroplane and I want to do something with my time because to be honest it's not all right what you can do. Then I have YouTube Studio which is just a lot easier to reply to like comments and stuff. I have WhatsApp again which I don't really use either, this is mostly for just like family and things. Then I have Spotify, which if you want to go follow my Spotify, then go ahead. This is my Spotify. This video is literally just me plugging myself for 10 minutes straight. These are all my playlists. I have 19, which is like my 2019 main playlist at the moment. So I'm slowly adding more songs to that. So if you want to go follow any of my playlists, these are the ones I have public for you to have a wee gander at. SoundCloud, again, that is just used for songs which aren't on Spotify. And then it comes to the bottom where I have my four folders. The first folder is called Broke Bitch because... That's where I am. And I basically have eBay, which is like my favourite shop in the whole world. Misguided, Boohoo, Zaffle and PLT. These are like the main shops. So whenever you guys ask me like where are the main places you get your clothes from, Misguided, Boohoo and PLT are like the main three. And then I have my folder which is called Fat Shit Folder which is basically just a folder full of food restaurants. So I have Justy which is just used for like local takeaways, 
Domino's, needs some explanation, Uber Eats, which I use from McDonald's, and then Weatherspoon's app, which is basically what you use to order food to your table when you're in spoons. And then I have businessy stuff, which just has my banking app, PayPal, sub count, which what are we on at the minute? 101. 757. Wow. And then I have AdSense, which is how you check your YouTube payments. And then Gmail, which I don't use Gmail, as you can tell, 259 unread emails. And then the last folder I have is called Start Your Face Out. And these are basically the apps I use to edit my Instagram photos. So I'm going to quickly run through these for you now. I have VSCO, Airbrush, Image Size, which is what I use to size my thumbnails, Blur Photo, Layout, InShot, Eraser, Cooney Cam, I think that's how you say that. Pixar and then rotate for videos which I sometimes use for Instagram and Instagram stories but to be honest I only stick to like three or four but yeah that is everything that is on my phone and that is the final folder I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it was a little more laid back and more chilled than my usual type of videos we're just gonna bring an old school classic back to my channel so I hope you enjoyed that if you did give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe it down below let me know any videos you want to see in the comments down below I will see you in my next video bye S O S never guess cause I know mama told me that I'm blessed but he never on the show get impressed cause I'm dope you don't smoke what you mean keep it potent as the green so you know this happy tree